Blessings, my beloved brethren, blessings in the name of the Most High. <laughs> oh, beloved, listen. In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. Did you get that, brethren? There are times when you just need to be still and know that He is God. In your patience, you need to possess your soul. And see the Almighty come through for you. God says, I will keep him or even her in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on thee because it trusteth in thee. You see, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses. But we're going to trust in Jehovah. Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of need. And though the mountains be cast into the sea, and even the earth be moved out of its place, we need, we need still to believe, beloved, that God is still able to take us to a safe place. Many have often questioned and even been anxious about how we're going to get to the kingdom. You see, the Bible says Michael shall stand up and deliver. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says that he's going to set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Egypt and from Paphros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shina and from Hamath and from the islands of afar off. And he's going to set up an ensign for the nations. <laughs> he's going to smite the seven streams and make men to go over in dry shod, in shoes. And that's why the pen of inspiration says, we are not to worry as to how we're going to get to the kingdom or even about anyone hurting God's work. But we are to be ready, beloved. That when the angel of the Lord says, all aboard. Hmm. If God was able to transport Philip after he baptized the Ethiopian eunuch and take him to a Zotas, a different location, just like that. If he was able to take Elijah to heaven in chariots hmm, and take Enoch, translate him, just like that. Brethren, listen, Genesis chapter 18, is anything too hard for the Lord? No. You see, we need to believe because faith is not perfect knowledge. See, when you know God, you just claim his promise. You don't have to know everything about how he's going to do things. There are certain things that God doesn't make too clear. Nevertheless, we need to believe. The just shall live by faith. And faith is believing that what the word says, what the promise of God says, it will do. God says, I'm going to stand up and deliver you, my child. To all others, it's going to appear that you have to die. When that death decree goes forth, the 144,000 sealed servants of God, it's going to appear that these outcasts, these troublers, they're cornered, they're lost, and now they must die. But Michael will stand up and deliver the 144,000 by a miracle. And don't miss this, brethren. All will behold it. The whole world. See, God's not going to do this thing in secret. When God delivers the 144,000 from Jacob's time of trouble, it's not going to be a secret thing. Oh, no, brethren. Oh, no. God is going to beat down the Assyrian, for through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrian be beaten down, with, which smote with a rod. When God turned back our captivity, we were like men, like dreamt. Oh, beloved. And that's why, my brethren, listen, 
Satan's purpose right now is to take every glimmer of hope out of your soul. But inspiration says you must not allow him to do this. That's an interesting statement because God gives us the power through his word, through his spirit, the indwelling Christ within us. Now, faith has to be exercised. It has to be put into action. And that's why, brethren, faith is like a hand that reaches out and takes the fruit from the tree. We need to reach out by faith and claim the promises of God's love. The fruits of his love. Beloved, listen. To all it's going to appear that Jacob, that's it for him. But brethren, when God manifests his power, and that's why it's important, beloved, to really understand what God has done in the past. What did he do in the past, brethren? He flooded the earth. At the Tower of Babel, he confounded the languages. He changed the color of the skin and the features of the face. That's where it all happened, brethren, at the Tower of Babel. God brought his people into the wilderness. But even before that, beloved, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. God says to Abraham, I am your shield and your exceeding great reward. You don't need to fear. God brought Abraham out into the, into the heavens, into the sky and said to him, can you number the, the stars? So shall your seed be multiplied. Through thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Time came when Isaac was to die. How was the nations to be blessed through Abraham's seed if Isaac was to die? Oh, beloved, <laughs> God will test us to the uttermost. But he's there to give you grace that exceeds your trial. The power that God gives us always exceeds the trial that we are to be confronted with. And that's why the scripture says, as your days are, so shall your strength be. The trial will never exceed the strength that God will give us to bear it. So, brethren, listen. I mean, we can go into Abraham, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob even more. But God brings the children of Israel into the wilderness. Wow. I mean, brethren, look at that. Smites the firstborn of Egypt. Hallelujah, the blood covered them. We need to be covered by the blood, beloved. Only the blood of Jesus can save us from our sins. There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. Oh, brethren, there is power in the blood. Hallelujah. To cleanse us from all iniquity. So he smites the firstborn, he breathes through his nostrils and he opens the Red Sea and he delivers the Israelites and it was night. Oh, beloved. Children of Israel leave Egypt. The Egyptians pursue the pursue the Israelites the pillar of cloud by day and, f and fire by night comes in between the two camps all night they couldn't see each other it was light to the Israelites but darkness to the Egyptians they couldn't they couldn't see each other oh what a miracle that was God protected the Israelites oh beloved so when the children of Israel had to cross through the Red Sea dry shot it was not until they got to the other side that the Egyptians make their way through the sea. But when the Israelites got to the other side, brethren, Moses stretched out his rod. Oh, beloved, there's power in the rod. There's power in the rod. <laughs> Hallelujah, brethren, there's power in the rod. Do you know the song, beloved, that says, 
Hear ye the shepherd's rod was sent in love from God. From heaven came a voice that made us all rejoice. A message of good news that may no one refuse to hear the truth from God. His precious shepherd's rod. Come, oh, come, the shepherd's rod is here. Come, oh, come, rejoice in happy cheer. O oh, Zion, rise and shine, arise and fall in line, tis reformation sign, the shepherd rod divine. Listen to this one, brethren. He's promised evermore the kingdom to restore. Oh, may we soon go home, no more the world to roam. We long for that sweet rest where all the saints are blessed, where righteousness will reign. Oh, glory to his name. Come, oh, come, the shepherd's rod is here. Come, oh, come, rejoice in happy cheer. O oh, Zion, rise and shine, arise and fall in line. Tis reformation sign, the shepherd's rod divine. Redemption song will sing and make salvation ring. For in the promised land, on Mount Zion we'll stand. With our sins washed away, oh happy golden day, so praise be to our God. He sent the shepherd's rod. Come, oh come, the shepherd's rod is here. Come, oh come, rejoice in happy cheer. Oh Zion, rise and shine, arise and fall in line. Tis reformation sign, the shepherd's rod divine. Beloved, listen to this. So... Moses stretches, stretches out his rod and the sea that was congealed, that God froze on either side, came crushing back down and the Egyptians all perished, all of them. And do you know, brethren, today they have even found wheels from the chariots in the Red Sea. I know we don't live by sight, but they've even found wheels sunken deep in the Red Sea. Which gives more evidence that, hey, that was... See, the Bible, brethren, the Bible is truth. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And you cannot go around him. You cannot go over and... You cannot go under. Through my Lord you will receive... The love that you have need of. Oh brethren, through Jesus we will receive the love that we have need of. I tell you that Jesus died for your soul. And you say I believe. I tell you he's longing to make you whole. And you say I believe. I tell you, you've got to get your life straight. Sorry, brethren. Before it's everlasting too late. For if you believe, then why won't you receive? Beloved, that's what it's all about, you see. If we believe, why, would, why then don't we receive? As many as received him. To them gave he power to become the sons of God. So God brings with a mighty hand. He opens the Red Sea and he takes the Israelites into, into the wilderness. Do you know, brethren, when they came to the place and there was no water? Do you know that when Jesus caused water to gush out from the rock? Do you know that inspiration says that was a greater miracle than when God parted the sea what a miracle what a miracle water to gush out from a rock <laughs> that's the almighty god that we serve what a mighty god we serve what a mighty god we serve heaven and earth adore him and adore him what a mighty god we serve hallelujah brethren Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Don't let anybody take your joy. Satan is a thief. He comes not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. 
to steal your joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Don't let the devil take your joy. So brethren, how about when God rained manna from heaven? For 40 years they were eating manna. Wow. And when they reached the promised land, the manna ceased. What a miracle. What a miracle. I mean, but my, God's judgments came upon the Israelites too. Korah, Dath and Abraham, who coveted the office of Moses, the earth opened up and swallowed them up and closed them down. And instead of repenting, those that were left, they started murmuring. And then the plague took them out. You see, brethren, we can't mess around with God. Can't mess around with God. God is love. Remember when Moses said, Lord, show me your glory? The Lord said, I'm going to cause all my goodness to pass before you. And the Lord began to proclaim the Lord, the Lord God, merciful, gracious, long-suffering, abundant in goodness and in truth, keeping covenant with thousands of them that love me and keep my, my commandments, but I will in no wise acquit the guilty. We can never excuse sin. Listen, brethren, God never excused sin in anybody. And that's why sometimes... You know, somehow, brethren, we, we try to, you know, excuse sin. Oh, it's only this, or it's only that, it doesn't really matter. Oh, it does matter, brethren. Salvation came at a great cost. That's why it does matter. You know, we say often, brethren, that salvation is free. Hmm. Salvation came at a great cost. God's only beloved son. Let's never forget that, brethren wasn't easy wasn't easy it wasn't easy but it was worth it hallelujah brethren so of those that came out from egypt only two made it brethren over the age of 20 joshua and caleb have mercy and that's why when you look at the situation eight came out from Eight were saved in the flood, three from Sodom, 300 in Gideon's day, and then it just goes on. Only two made it of those that came out from Egypt over the age of 20. Only two. Hmm. And that's why inspiration says, brethren, we must strive with all the power that God has given us to be among the 144,000. How many made it from the church? of Christ Day that received the outpouring, only 120, numbered group. That was the prototype showing that the 144,000 is a literal number. When God poured out the Holy Spirit at the first Pentecost, they were numbered. And so it's going to be again. And that's why inspiration says the living saints, the 144,000 in number, knew and understood the voice, while the wicked thought it was thunder and earthquake. Brethren, listen. There's nothing too hard for the Lord. Listen, God upholds the universe in space by the power of his word. How can anything be impossible for him or too hard for him? You see, the impossibility lies with us. Because if we don't believe, then we're not going to receive. Jesus often said, do you believe that I can do this for you? <laughs> well, if you believe... Why won't you receive? Brethren, I'm going to leave it there, brethren. I love you so much. Brethren, brethren, it's time to afflict our souls. Listen, as the Apostle Paul says, I have not yet attained, but I'm on my way. Let us keep on pressing on. We are not of those that turn back, brethren, but of those that believe unto the saving of the soul. God bless, brethren. Speak to you soon. Love you always. In Jesus' name. Amen.